to take all the way up to where the budge of the ankle stops. So you need that space, uh, you need that out of the table. And then you want them into a dorsiflex position. So you ask them to keep that. Put your spray, don't be shy, because you want it to last for the whole game. Loop pad, your lefty, some of them are pre loop On the Achilles tendon and on the tibialis anterior tendon to prevent against blister. Some people start up, I like to start down because to me, it, I don't know, it's just easier. As I was saying this morning, they move their ankle every five seconds. <laughs> Keep your ankle up. And then you're gonna start at the arch and you're just gonna cover all the skin. Doesn't matter how you do it, all matters that, that there's no fold, no wrinkle in there, and that all the skin is uh, covered. So if you wanna start from the top, from the bottom, however, this is how I do it. Then you're gonna put two ankle anchors at the top. There's no tension in these, these are just to anchor the rest of your taping job. Like this. So you cover one third to half of the previous strip. Then you're going to go at the end of your pre-wrap. Same thing as we did before, just one anchor here. Make sure you split the metatarsal and go around. Now, since you want to limit inversion, you're going to apply your strips from the inside to the outside to bring uh, the foot into eversion. You don't want to bring them into too much eversion, so you just keep them in dorsiflexion. Switch tapes. You're going to start on the inside. Go right on the calcaneus, so you're not inside on the arch. Can you see this? Mm -hmm. On the calcaneus and then you're gonna go on the outside. Before you, uh, before you stick it, you can put a little extra dorsiflexion and then you stick it. And then you do three like this. One that starts a little bit in front. But ends up on the same part of the calcaneum. One a little bit to the back. So these are your two, three strips that limit inversion. Now you're going to do what's called a heel lock. So you're going to lock the heel from going into inversion. You're going to start on the inside, behind the heel, same spot on the calcaneus, and back up. Okay? You're going to do two like this. Now you see his ankle is a little bit in eversion. You just want to stabilize that. So you're just going to do one in the other direction. These are your main uh, stripe effect. Stop moving. <laughs> <laughs> when the athletes will do, do all the time, test it while you're doing it. If you're not done, it's just annoying. And now you're just going <laughs> to cover all of this, covering half of the previous strip. No tension. Some of the needles. Some people stop there. Some people go all the way down. It's really up to you. I try to cover as much as I can before to make sure there are no little windows because like I said, you don't want to show any of the skin. Like these stripes have no pressure, so they should not limit anything. They should not dig into the skin. So this shouldn't be annoying. Now that you did that, you're just gonna do what we have called a Louisiana, 
which is basically two heel lock in a row and a figure eight. So start on the inside, do your first heel lock, come back to the front. Go to the back, do your second heel lock, come back to the front. And then you're just going to do a figure eight, so to the back, around, and done. This is the most complicated part that your ankle tape. <coughs> All right? What I'm going to get you to do when you practice, before you waste 40 rolls of tape, mm -hmm. 